before today's video gets started, I just want to say thanks to all the new subscribers and all the kind comments and stuff. It's uh, been really nice, and if you like this stuff I do, consider subscribing. It's free. I never run any ads, mostly because YouTube really doesn't like me, which is awesome. So, uh, and I never sell anything, nothing. It's always totally free. So with that being said, uh, let's just get right into it. Okay, today's video is all about uh, big bullets. For This is going to be a two-part series. This is going to be pistol calibers, and then I'm going to have uh, rifle caliber sometime soon, maybe. I know it's been a hot minute, so... First off, we're going to start out with a 9mm. So normally they're between 115 147 grain bullet. These... These are 185 grain. I'm just making 185 grain bullet. So they are they're pretty neat. They have like a hybrid case, kind of like the new military rifle. They have like a, uh, a bill of aluminum base and I don't know, maybe a stainless steel case or something. So they're 185 grain, nine millimeter. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll check the gloss. I don't know if it has it there. I'll check it out. Next, we're going to step up to uh, a 10 millimeter, which is my favorite pistol. So normally, I think the biggest is 200. You're normally 180, 150, something like that. So these are 220 grain, hard cast by Underwood Ammo, which we're going to get to Big Brother here shortly. So these actually, these are impressive, man, because they're 220 grain. And they are going out the barrel at uh, 1,200 feet per second. Sorry, I got the camera backwards there. Focus, focus. Maybe not. So, yeah, trust me. 1,200 feet a second, 220 grains. That's pretty impressive, man. Blows the water out of a 10 or a 45, which uh, the 10 millimeter has a lot more pressure than the 45. Speaking of 45, I'm going in opposite direction just because I had these in a gun safe and they're super cool. So normally at 45, you're shooting a 230 grain bullet at like 800 and some odd change feet per second. These are the Super Shot 45 Auto 150 grain bullet. They are going out the barrel way, I do believe, 1,113 feet per second. So it is a nasty little hollow point. I shot these before and I love them. There's like no recoil and they hit hard. So I do have a couple targets up here. The way I'm going to test them. I got my steel target. I'm going to see how much it moves it. It weighs probably about 40 pounds, hard steel. And then I got some water jugs and some uh, spaghetti or uh, tomato sauce or something, like 10 pound can or something there. So we're gonna do that. So we'll keep going on with the pistol ammo for our big guys. Of course, we have to have the Underwood 700 grain, 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum hard cast so these <laughs> look at the difference there these are ripping out the barrel at 1200 feet per second too which think about that it's as fast as that one 700 grain out of a pistol going 1200 feet a second these things are a handful and if you haven't seen a video where I do a mag dump with one of these or five of these go check that out because my hand hurt literally for like two or three days it was it was fun Okay, so just a little teaser for the the rifle. I got these. I'll link these guys in the, in the description because they are the best people. This is a 50 BMG spotter tracer round. They are 130 grains, something like that. I forget how, how heavy they are. They don't say. They're about 130 grains, something like that. Uh, they have a, I do believe, a shotgun primer in there. And then they have a charge like gunpowder. I'm not sure what, what all was in there. Uh, with the idea of it's a tracer that you put in your machine gun, your M2, and then it traces down and then when it hits something it explodes so that way you know where to set your machine gun at. Uh, they use them in World War II and stuff. <laughs> the snipers use them. You're not supposed to. If you got mad at somebody, you put one of these bad boys in there and shoot them with it. And they, they explode. So I, that's coming up in the second part of the video. And uh, 
They got some other cool guns, some rifles, some big, big calibers, heavy, heavy bullets. So I'm just going to get all this set up. I'm going to make the video as quick as possible. And yeah, enjoy. Okay, real quick before I do this, uh, I only have my, my phone here, so I got my 9mm, my old 92. So what, how I'm going to do this, I, I only have my, my camera, my phone, and I'm just going to set it up slow-mo by, by the plate over here, wherever it is. And then uh, I'm just going to see, it's loose, the plate's loosely sitting up there, so I'm going to see how much they move it. I'm going to go 9mm, 10mm, and then uh, 45, and then 500 Magnum. Okay, uh, okay. Besides the uh, 500 Magnum, which is obviously was very devastating to it. <laughs> you look at this thing, man. I mean, that thing—it just freaking wrapped it, man. Honestly, other than that, I think the 45 it hit pretty hard. It seemed to really shoot good. Uh, these ones—I don't know if the gun's shooting low. But yeah, uh, actually, I took a practice shot and it hit real low. And then I, I aimed up here and hit down. I don't know, but I haven't shot this gun forever. This is a Smith and Wesson 1006. That's a beautiful gun. It's 10 millimeter. And actually, what we got here, since I'm standing right here in the targets here, and I feel frisky, got some uh, extreme penetrators. So let's see if they. Uh... See, there we go. I just feel sketchy all over, but. <laughs> That's like whatever. Let's see if she extremely penetrated it. I wasn't even looking when I shot. Yeah, I think nah, it had to be that one, I guess, huh, guys? Sorry. I guess it had to be that one there. Yeah, it must have been. That ended up pretty good. They're pretty neat. All right. So, we'll, uh, I'll set up some water jugs. We'll do some exploding tests. Let's do that one. Maybe I'll try another one. All right. We'll get set up. Okay, I think it's pretty safe to say that the 500 Magnum is just the king of handguns, man. So as a bonus to you guys and my wrist, like, unfortunately, I think I did break my wrist when I did a Magnum with the 500 Mag with 700 grain ammo. <laughs> man, or you have just PTSD because, man, every time I shoot that thing, God almighty, it hurts the hands, man. Like, it devastates. Anyway, uh, that 9mm ammo, I was actually really impressed. It seemed to actually hit pretty hard, you know, the... 220 grain 10 millimeters just so heavy just kind of but you know but uh but yeah bonus i got what is this here okay six six pounds of diced tomato well times two so i got 12 pounds of diced tomato and i got some more 500 mag ammo yay we're gonna hit this with a 700 grain underwood ammo just as a bonus to you guys in my hand. Oof. 